Hello friends welcome to our next topic of RWM that is revise with mentor series and I am your mentor here Dr Nikita our today's topic is a very very important topic that is trinucleotide repeat expansion disorders or diseases which is very frequently asked in all the exams so it's a very important topic to know we'll see the mnemonics how to remember these disorders so stay tuned till the end at the end we also have a review question for you to answer in the comments for that review question so let's start with trinucleotide repeat disorders so as the term says trinucleotide repeat disorders so you will have the repetition of trinucleotide the mnemonics to remember are all the trinucleotide repeat disorders if you have a look at the trinucleotides they end with c and they start with c and they end with g for example when i say huntington's disease the trinucleotide is cag when i say myotonic dystrophy the trinucleotide repeat is ctg when i say fragile x it is cgg so all of them they start with c and end with g so c g c comes first g comes last alphabetically also but there is only one exception to this remember that exception that is frederick's ataxia so except frederick's ataxia all of them start with c and with g so what is the trinucleotide repeat in frederick's ataxia so to remember remember that frederick as a singer so there's a singer by the name frederick what does a singer do a singer sings a singer sings so ga that is in hindi for singing it is called as ga so the tri nucleotide repeat in frederick's ataxia is g a a tri nucleotide which is repeated it does not start with c or does not end with g like the others this is the only exception which you need to remember so frederick's is a singer singer sings that is ga gana gana so ga matlab frederick's is g a a repeat all the others we said start with c and end with g so all of them they have c a g repeats except two all of them have c a g repeats except two which are those exceptions c a g except two the two exceptions are fragile x syndrome fragile x syndrome and myotonic dystrophy fragile x and myotonic dystrophy so we know that they start with c end with g start with c end with g but the middle alphabet is different in fragile x to remember remember that fragile is g so it is c g g repeat in myotonic the predominant alphabet is t the predominant alphabet or the predominant syllable when we say myotonic is t so it is c t g so fragile x is c g g repeat myotonic dystrophy is c t g repeat all others as we said are c a g repeat so start with c end with g all are a so c a g repeat so all of these are c a g repeat examples include huntington's disease all your cns disorders like spinocerebellar ataxia spinal and bulbar muscular atrophy which is also called as kennedy disease dentatorubral dystrophy so the cns disorders mainly affecting the cns these come under cag repeat disorders so now you have the next question that 
which trinucleotide repeat disorders they affect the coding region and which affect non coding region so the ones which are cag repeats they are the coding region the ones which are the non cag repeats they are the non coding so non cag non coding cag is coding so which are the non cag we saw the three disorders first we saw fredericks fredericks is gaa then we saw fragile x so cgg then we saw myotonic dystrophy t that is ctg so these three come under non coding regions being affected in the trinucleotide repeat disorders the rest are all cag that is the coding region being affected now some of the clinical features which are important if you get a case that a patient with trinucleotide repeat disorder presents with chorea and dementia the diagnosis is huntington's disease so the catch point to diagnose huntington's is chorea and dementia what are the catch points clinically to diagnose fragile x so fragile x syndrome remember fragile x it has all xl size that is xl size ears xl size testes xl size jaw and forehead so x is xl size that is enlarged ears testes and jaw so if this is a normal male in fragile x you would have elongated face with prominent jaw the ears are also large and you have enlarged testicles so that is a fragile x syndrome so it is very important clue to identify fragile x next is fredericks ataxia in fredericks ataxia the catch points clinical features are the patient is wheelchair bound and the patient has kyphoscoliosis pescavus with hammer toes and the cardiac manifestation is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy so you have a patient who has kyphoscoliosis so this is the kyphoscoliosis the feet are pescavus that is prominent medial arch with hammer toes and the patient has hocm that is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy these are the features of fredericks ataxia now what is kennedy disease so in your trinucleotide repeat disorders as we said we also have spino cerebellar ataxia spino cerebellar ataxia type 3 is machado joseph disease while your kennedy disease is spinal and bulbar muscular atrophy it is the other term for spinal and bulbar muscular muscular atrophy so in kennedy disease the protein which is affected or the gene which is affected is androgen receptor there is a loss of function mutation in the androgen receptor so this is the androgen receptor which will not respond even if the androgen comes and sits here binds to the receptor so there will be androgen insensitivity because there is loss of function mutation in the androgen receptor so there is androgen insensitivity in kennedy disease so kennedy remember that kennedy rhymes with can't act 
what can't act the androgen cannot act why because there is loss of function mutation in the androgen receptor so kennedy can't act the androgen can't act so these are the important points about trinucleotide repeat disorder we had this question recently updated on a facebook group which of the following trinucleotide repeat expansion disorder presents with androgen insensitivity we just saw that it is kennedy disease which is nothing but spinal and bulbar muscular muscular atrophy machado joseph disease is spinocerebellar ataxia type 3 fragile x xl size ears testes and jaw fredrick's ataxia kyphoscoliosis hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and peskevus these are the important points to remember so here we have this review question for you please post the answer in the comments which of the following trinucleotide repeat expansion disorder does not affect coding region and the options are in front of you please post the answers in the comments and if you found this video useful please like and share it with your friends who are preparing for any medical exam because it motivates me to post more such videos and if it helps even one person even one of your friends they would be very thankful to you and so would i be thankful to you thank you keep studying keep revising and keep winning